welcome back to my channel. My name is Christine and today we're going to be filming a what's in my backpack slash back to school haul supply video. Okay, so I grew up loving these videos. They're so much fun to watch, especially to see like what everyone's gotten for back to school. Keep in mind that I've been in school for quite a while. I am a grad student specifically going to my third year in my PhD. Typically as a grad student, you really just need your laptop and your bag, really nothing more. But I came with some tricks and tips in terms of like what I typically bring to school and make sure, especially since I do work long hours at school. And I love myself a good supply haul, especially just to stock up for the school year, seeing as that I am going back to teaching and I do use this uh, while also working in lab. Without further ado, let's get into the video. This backpack, I've had for like a few years now. This is the Herschel backpack. It's in gray and black. I've had this backpack for quite a bit and it's very, very durable. It is one of the most favorite backpack that I've had and I've had many backpacks dating from high school and elementary school where my parents would buy me like those Walmart bags or Costco branded bags. I typically do like Costco branded items. The only downside is that they're bulkier looking so they don't look as aesthetic. But this Herschel bag is just very pretty and very durable. It has a strap that kind of clips onto the front bag and it also has a smaller pouch that does the exact same thing. It has one big pouch on the inside like this that you can fit in your laptop, which kind of helps to remove having a laptop case. And so I typically don't have a laptop case. I just throw my laptop in here and then a bigger pouch that fits all of your items in here. One of the most common things that you'll have in your backpack is your laptop. So I have a MacBook Air. I do not know what year, please do not ask me. I don't really know what year it is, but it's a MacBook Air. And I've had this for like four or five years now. So it's quite old. This is the laptop that I carry everywhere. It is one of the most used item in my backpack. I've got these stickers from my cousin, my aunt, as well as some of my friends. And so I just kind of stick them on here and it's not the most attractive looking laptop, um, but it is the most used item in my backpack. If you would like to see a how I organize my laptop as a grad student video, definitely let me know. So another thing that I also have in my backpack is a notebook. So typically in high school, I remember buying like four notebooks and then four binders. However, when you get to university or college, it's really all on your laptop or your iPad, whatever tool that you have. It's mainly electronic now. So with that being said, I only have one notebook and I got this from the University of Toronto. It's a three subject notebook and it is in the color green. This at the University of Toronto was only about, I would say six to seven dollars, which is quite cheap for the things that they do sell there. And you could definitely, of course, get a three subject notebook at Walmart or Staples. It's a lot cheaper, but this is what I got. So they have these section dividers with pockets so you can just place in your note. And I definitely do that when I take quick notes and I just put it into these dividers. And so this is kind of an example of what I use this folder for. Like I said, I do love myself a good organization notebook. So I kind of just bullet journal all the things that I have to do and then cross them out. Another thing that I of course have in my backpack is your charger. You definitely need a laptop charger as well as a phone charger. I cannot live without these two items that I kind of stick into my backpack. Another thing that I keep in my backpack are my Beats. So these are the Beat headphones that I use, especially when I'm on the TTC. I also have AirPods, but sometimes I will alternate with Beats and AirPods. I typically try not to wear my Beats when I'm in school. The reason being is because when you work in a lab environment, you have to be able to hear and for safety reasons, other people that are talking to you or calling your name. So I typically stick to wearing these on the TTC. Also, I highly recommend buying Beats when they're on sale and not 
for the full price. They're very, very, very pricey. Another thing that I have in my backpack is my Lululemon lunch bags. Just put all of my lunch stuff in here. And sometimes I'll also carry around a protein shake because they're very filling and they keep you full because I am a commuter student. I also have typically a book in hand. Um, with that being said, I carry around my Kindle, which looks like this and a book. So I do love to read. I am a bookworm, so I do love to read on the TTC. This is kind of my relaxing thing to do when I go home and before I go to school. I also, in my backpack, carry a water bottle. This is Costco branded, and I think there's a, usually with these water bottles, it comes with two. So I got the white water bottle, thermal flask, stay hydrated, because it's very, very important. And I got these stickers from Gymshark. When I bought some clothes from Gymshark during their sale, they added stickers into my package. Another thing that I do carry, and I typically carry it in the front pouch here, are emergency item. Being a female, I highly recommend having, you know, extra pads or tampons in the front of my backpack. I also carry a small bag. First things first is like Advil. If you ever feeling a headache coming in, take it. <laughs> I also always have, as I said before, for snacks, I always have like protein bars as well as a protein shake. White chocolate macadamia nut and it's a cliff bar. I also always carry deodorant. I have a small Vaseline bottle. I also like to carry hand cream because because my hands get dry quite often and especially during the winter. Buy the Poppy by Bath & Body Works hand cream. It smells really, really good. But if you do work in an environment where you can't have scented items, I do highly recommend Vino. Um, skin Relief Hand Cream. I also carry around the Way Melrose Palace Perfume. So this is the travel size and it looks like this. At the end of the day, if I'm going to gym, I'll just spurts this on. And last but not least in my kit, I also have a whole bunch of hand sanitizers. Traveling and as a commuter student, especially after COVID, I've become a germaphobe. And so I get these at Bath Body Works. They're really cheap. You can get, I think, like six for like 10 to $20 Christmas scented. So this one is the Tis the Season Antibacterial Hand Gel. This is Bright Christmas Morning. And then this is the Black Cherry Merlot. So I always have these on stock. I also wanted to show you guys what I got. So it's kind of a school supply restock haul that I got from Walmart. So I love to do these. I have watched so many YouTube videos back in high school where people would get so many supplies and I'm so happy that I am doing one for you guys as a grad student. You really don't need that much stuff. Uh, but I like to restock on these items. Some things that I restocked on for the academic year are like tape. I definitely use tape a lot, especially for like taping things into my notebooks or just in general. I have also restocked on uh, staples. I also got Blistex. I love me a lip balm. I have like one in each bag that I own. Another thing that I bought is the post-it. So this is just the recyclable paper post-it. I love post-its. I use it very often, especially during meetings. It's a super sticky post-it and it comes in four different colors. It was on sale. Your purple, your blue, turquoise, pink, and then light pink pads. I also have the square post-it. They come in six different colors and this was also on sale. If you are a science student or English student or whatever you whatever you're majoring in. I highly recommend the Bic pen. These are my favorite pens and I got four of them, which is really bad. I think one of them is for Josh and the other are gonna be for me. So three for me, one for Josh. These are the four colored Bic pens and they look like this. So they come in blue, green, black, and red. I also got myself the Sharpie S Note. I have a lot of Sharpie highlighters, but these are the S Note. And so they come in a really fun packaging that looks like this. And I really love color coordinating. And so I bought this to be able to color coordinate my to-do list, my notes. I do do a lot of writing when I read and so this is going to come in handy. I got a few organizational things. I got these at Dollarama and these are essentially weekly planners. They came in different colors but I decided to grab this green color 
as well as this pink color and essentially it just helps you plan out your week and so you have um, Monday through Sunday schedule and then you have a note section at the bottom where you can add uh, your own notes if they don't seem to fit in your weekly schedule. But I also got a bullet journal and I really like the way the papers are organized in a bullet versus a lined format. The reason why I grabbed this is because I'm mainly going to be using it for my meetings. The last thing that I got from Dollarama is this cute weekly planner. You guys are probably calling me crazy right now. Why do you have three weekly planners? This one is going to be my gym to-do list with Josh. I decided to buy a weekly planner so we can hold ourselves accountable and know when we have to work out. Working out really is all about uh, consistency rather than motivation and so using a weekly planner can really help you organize when you're supposed to be working out, what type of workout you're doing, and like what are your goals for that week? Like what are you trying to accomplish? Are you trying to eat more protein or you're trying to hit more cardio that week? I like to color code my calendars. So I just purchased more dry erase markers with a built-in eraser. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and click on the notification bell to stay notified for when we post next. We post every week on Tuesdays at 3.30 p.m. I'll see you guys in our next video. Bye!